Yo guys, thank you so much for the subs. People have been posting the funniest channel art in my Discord, and we're gonna be hosting like more fun events on Trident. Join the Discord, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's Shulis. Welcome back to the Shulis channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a simple but important video for you guys. I'm gonna be showing you guys some combat tips for new or even old players. These are pretty essential to the game, so let's get right into it. I'm gonna be going through a list of guns and weapons, armor, sliding, keeping your distance, and upgrading your guns and bows, just so you guys can fight those higher tier players. All right, guys, the first gun I'm gonna be showing you guys is the pipe pistol this gun's really similar to all the other guns in the game i'm gonna be showing you guys the bullet lead in this game all right guys if he's swaying back and forth like that you're gonna shoot ahead see how you shoot ahead a little bit and you should be able to land some hits on him i'm gonna show you guys what i'm talking about so if i shoot you can see how the bullet just drops like that so you're gonna want to shoot ahead and up a little bit guys the next weapon i'm gonna show you guys is the bow this is only gonna cost 51 and 20 organic fiber this gun's a little bit similar to all the other guns it's gonna have bullet lead and it's also gonna have bullet drop so as you can see if i shoot this arrow it's just gonna drop fairly fast so what you want to do with this arrow is just aim a little bit above someone's head and you should be able to hit him with a headshot. Next up is bullet lead with the arrow. If you just shoot a little bit in front of him, you should be able to track him. All right, guys, now the next step is armor. Armor is really important in this game. There's four different kinds of armor in this game. The cheapest is gonna be wood, then it's riot, then it's iron, and then it's steel. As you guys could tell, it says requires workbench for the riot, iron, and steel armor. So you're gonna need a workbench to craft these. And if you wanna survive in PvP, I recommend getting the steel armor. It's a little expensive, but it's gonna be worth it. All right, guys, the next tip you guys wanna know is boosting. This is really important. If you see a high structure like this, you could actually jump on your teammate. And if he jumps at the same time, he could actually boost you on top of this stuff like this. Sliding is also important for movement. If you guys want to get down surfaces really fast, just hold C and you should be able to slide all the way down. Just look how fast that is. Let's get rid of this guy real quick. Point, point, <laughs> sliding. We're gonna slide. Oh my god, he just died. <laughs> okay, your body also slides as well. All right, guys, now the guns in this game. The pipe pistol is pretty easy to find and it's the cheapest one to make. This is just an upgrade, is the USP. The pipe SMG is also really good. It's really easy to craft. It takes like barely any materials. So I do recommend crafting this one over all the other guns. And the pipe assault rifle is the best gun in the game, but it does cost a lot. So craft the pipe SMGs if you guys just want to roam in PvP. Yo guys, thank you so much for watching. This is just part one of the combat tips. I'll see you guys very soon.